Earlier we finished the body of the chick. Now we can start making the chick's limbs. Chick's hand about the sheath circle. Counting from top to bottom. In the middle of the 10th to 11th laps. After roughly looking good in the right spot, you can then start to weave your hands on it. Start crocheting straight away. Let me show you how it works. Find the lower crochet hook first. Pick out the threads first. We spliced the cotton threads together. Crochet a slip stitch through it. Crochet a slip stitch first. Then we tighten the cotton coils. And then we crochet 6 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 chains later. Then watch my demo closely. This is the first chain. And then here's the second chain. And then we're going to crochet from here. In total, you need to crochet 5 times. Start with a half double hook. Take a look at my demo. Wrap the cotton thread first and then pass it through the coil. Then wind the cotton thread through all three coils at the same time. Then we are in the next coil. Hook another half double crochet. Next we are in the next coil. Crochet a single crochet. In the next loop, we'll crochet a single crochet. Once that's done, we do a slip stitch on the first stitch. Do a slip stitch on the first stitch. This is how his hand is finished. Then we'll tighten up this coil a little bit. I don't think it's tight enough. You can crochet a slip stitch here. Okay, so we can pull out the cotton thread and cut it. And then a little bit of tidying up of the cotton threads. Small hands are done. And then the cotton thread here, we can hide it with a crochet hook. Hide it with tweezers. This cotton thread is hidden over here. And then the little wing is done. When you're done in the same spot on this side, find the same location. And then we're still crocheting the same way. I'll skip it here and leave it to you to crochet on your own. After the chick's hands are done, start crocheting the chick's feet. For the foot, we'll start with the third or fourth loop. People can do it according to their own situation. Judge it, as long as it looks good. I'm crocheting from the fourth loop here. These are the two positions. In the same way, we are still crocheting directly here. When we find the location, crochet directly on top.
start by making a chain. Then we complete four chains. Once you've done that, watch my demo later in the thread. Here it's the same as earlier when making the chick's hand. After that, same method as before. Simultaneous winding of three coils. Here we are crocheting a single crochet. When we are done, we will crochet the next step. The next steps are the same as the previous ones. Here we sort out the cotton threads. Once sorted, we are continuing to crochet. Okay. One foot and we are done crocheting. Then we used the same method to hide the cotton threads. The main part of the trick is then more or less complete. That's the general shape. Now let's sew on its crown. Then we can do its mouth and eyes. Since the eye is glued on, we'll sew up the rest of it first. Coco will start the needle at the top of the head. After that, after pulling out the red thread, we continue crocheting. Same crochet method as before. Watch my demo carefully here. No need to cut the cord here. And then we are going to crochet for more chains. And then we're on the other side. We are on this side of the slip stitch. This is where we cut the cotton thread. This completes the top part of his head. That's what it looks like. When we're done, we'll cut the cotton thread in the same way as before. Tweak it. Once adjusted, we can install the eyes and mouth. The mouth is about here. 11 to 12 laps in the middle. Here we use orange cotton thread. Install its mouth.
It's about here. That's pretty much it. Mouths are easy. See if it fits, and if it does, you don't need to make any adjustments. Then we can cut the cotton thread. Hiding the cotton thread inside the body. Finally, make the eyes. After determining the position, we glued it on and finished it. Okay, everyone, after you finish making the eyes, a cute trick is done.